Hey everybody, I thought I would try something just a little bit different today from what I have done in the past. Uh, usually when I put a video out, it's me rolling a game of something, uh, whether it's Stratomatic or another board game. Today, uh, on a kind of a restful Saturday morning, was listening and watching my favorite uh, baseball talk show locally here in the Mid-Atlantic area called Nats Talk. It's on Mid-Atlantic Sports Network. And uh, they talk Nats baseball primarily, but also you know, baseball in general. And I don't usually call them or write them or anything like that. It is a call-in show, uh, but that's usually not what I like to do. I like to mainly just watch and, and hear their take on different things. But today it kind of uh, got me thinking, so I, I actually sent them an email and they did respond to it on air, so I was, you know, surprised yet happy about that. And I asked them two questions. Uh, one was on scorekeeping and how that's a lost art and, and uh, you know, the importance of scorekeeping for baseball fans. And the other uh, was if, any, if they had played any type of baseball board game, such as Stratomatic. And to my surprise, they said they had. So, and in fact, the host on the show, Phil Wood, his uh, his eyes kind of lit, lit up when the word Stratomatic came along. And he recanted a couple of stories, or not re recanting, recalled a couple of stories from his uh, younger days and his experiences with Stratomatic, which I thought was really, really cool. It's kind of nice to hear people that are uh, in the baseball industry talk about uh, playing Stratomatic, uh, particularly when they were younger. And it can go for any baseball board game, but Stratomatic was just the one I threw out there. Uh, his co-host is Mike Wallace, who was, was a left-handed relief pitcher in the early 70s. I believe in 73 and 74 is with the Phillies, and 75 the Yankees. 76, his best year was with the Cardinals in 76. And I think he had a cup of coffee with the Texas Rangers in 77. So uh, this video is just going to be their response to my questions or my write-in email uh, talking about Stratomatic and scorekeeping. starts with scorekeeping, then ends with Stratomatic. But I thought their uh, response was interesting and thought you guys might like to hear it. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get to their response. Question from David in Richmond. After watching you for several years, it's obvious you're a student of the game. Your time as official scorer shows your love for statistics and baseball strategies. I do believe keeping score in a baseball game is a lost art. You're right about that. Uh, part of the problem there, though, I mean, you, you, when you would buy a scorecard in the, uh, uh, when we were kids, uh, uh, there was actually room to, to keep score. Well, they keep shrinking the grid that you can keep score in. So you need your own little code to figure out what, what, what to write in those little tiny spaces. Well, the, the, the scorecard, you know, like, uh, came with your, your program, mm -hmm. and, and I was looking. I Although back in the 50s, you could just buy a scorecard. Well, it, it, it evolved a little yeah. bit, because I was looking for, through some things the other day from the early 70s, and they were like 50 cents, the, the, the program, and they would have player bios mm -hmm. and little blurbs about the team, but on the, in the middle of it was your scorecard on each side. Uh, the Nats magazine that they give out at the ballpark uh, when, you, yeah. when, you, when you buy a ticket, I don't believe, does it have yeah. a... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. that's... that's what and, and it's still, actually a nice size one, too. Well, you know, that's, to that's what, you know, if you don't want to bring your own scorebook, uh, that one. That's what you I would use, and I think that, that those are complementary, yeah, if are. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to spend fifty cents to uh, to be able to keep score. But uh, uh, somebody convinced me that that really to the way to really see a game and enjoy a game is to keep score. I think his name was Phil Wood or something <laughs> like that, but. You know, he would say, you're not keeping score. You know, like, you need to keep score. He wasn't, you well, know. Well, you keep score. Yes, I do, because yeah. you told me that, look, if you're talking about a game, of course, you you got the experience. If you're doing the post-game show, as a player, you know, players don't keep score, but you could talk about a game after the game, 
for hours because I saw what happened. But now, I, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't risk not having that score sheet in front of me where I can glance at it and say, this is exactly what happened. Uh, but uh, to me, uh, it's, I enjoy it now. I, I like keeping score and as the game progresses. But uh, back in the day when I was playing, you know, you don't see any any players in the dugout. You know, six to three. You see, the only guy is tomorrow's pitcher, and and Mike Maddox. I don't know about Lopez, but Mike Maddox had his pitchers keep charts, so you do keep score. That's the only guy keeping score though in in the dugout. Well, David goes on to ask have, asking me, have you ever played baseball strategy board games like Stratomatic? Oh yes. Oh, yeah, Stratomatic Baseball. There's another one called APBA, A-P-B-A, and I never liked that one as much as Stratomatic. And Stratomatic is a tabletop game you play with dice. Apparently, there's now a computer version where you don't actually need dice, but um, it, it really was uh, uh, educational for me. And actually, there were, there were moments when you're playing somebody else. Now, when I was in college, uh, and I started, first of all, uh, to backtrack, I started playing uh, Stratomatic when I was in high school, um, I played in a rock and roll band, and the drummer's brother played Stratomatic. And so I started playing a game with him when the rest of the band is practicing in the basement. Okay, come on, I, just a minute, when this, when this inning's over with, you know, I'll be down. But uh, in college, uh, there's a girl I did, a girl named Alice, who I dated in college, and her brother Robert played Stratomatic. And uh, he, in the, he got the 1969 set, actually, was, which came out in 1970. And uh, I, I, I'll remember this for the rest of my life. The 69 Braves, of course, won the National League Western Division title. And the Senators finished 10 games over 500, but of course finished in fourth place in the American League East. But I played a game as the 69 Senators against the 69 Braves. Uh, Robert was a big Braves fan. And he started Pat Jarvis, and I started Casey Cox. And Casey Cox pitched a complete game one hitter and beat the Braves. And to this day, that is one of my greatest accomplishments in life, was leaving Cox out there for the whole game, and he was brilliant. Now, keep in mind, he won 12 games in 1969. He went 12-7. and seven. Well, you know, Pat Jarvis wasn't chopped liver, That's right. but, uh, you know, I just started Nuxie. Uh But I, I, I don't know if you were like, because there were guys that, you know, you, you couldn't pitch Nuxie every, right. every time. You had to use a, the rotation. Uh, but... Uh, one of the one of my favorite keepsakes uh, is my Stratomatic card. So I think I was a C player, didn't they grade players? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I was a C player, but uh, you would you could you could make moves and bring in guys, and it's percentages. It's all percentages and what you roll with the dice. So well, well then when Casey I Casey worked... Cox can pitch a one hitter, it's yeah. a really good sure, team. Sure, sure. And uh, uh, if the dice treats you well, exactly right. Uh, then when I worked at WCBM Radio, I had a producer named uh, Eddie Epstein, uh, who later ended up working in baseball. He, he worked as a, uh, he worked for the Orioles, and I think he worked for the Padres. Uh, he was, uh, he had a master's degree in statistics, but he loved Stratomatic, and we would play Stratomatic at the radio station, but he wanted to, we, he didn't play team against team. We, we would each draft a team and, and play against each other, and, uh, and there were, you know, raised voices and, and, uh, Pound the fist oh, yeah. pounding on desk, but it was it's if you really love the game, it's it's a lot of fun to play. And I again, I prefer the dice version because it's more it's more like playing a game than just p punching buttons on a computer. It's like slot machines, you know. If you don't pull the handle, it really is. It, is it a slot machine? Even though it's all digital, it just feels better if I'm well, pulling the well. It does. The, it does. But the lever. For, for for what it's worth, and I, I think I told Casey about this once, but because he never pitched a complete game one hitter in his life, <laughs> but he did that the day. The dice were right. The dice were right, and uh, uh, and it was a close game that we won two two nothing. So uh, you didn't exactly beat Pat Jarvis no, no, all over no, the no. field. No, 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 no. But as I recall, um, I used Lee May as my leadoff hitter, left-handed stick. Right. Who played? Who had a good year yeah, with not, Sanders. Not, not Lee May from Baltimore. That's right. Uh, Lee May, the former uh, rhythm and blues singer. Right. And uh, and he, I used him as as leadoff hitter, and he got on base, and he came around and he scored on a base hit, I think, by Ando. But anyway, um, they had, they added another run later on, but. Uh, but Casey Cox... Casey was eating a hammer Casey, alive, wasn't Casey he? Casey was just... 
Dan's a guy that can swing it, too. Oh, on that club, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely on that club. Uh, All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little quip on Stratomatic and uh, scorekeeping and uh, good times relive, relived by people of the older generation. But when you bring up Stratomatic, somehow the memories, even though their memory as a whole might be not that great, when it's a Stratomatic memory, boy, I'll tell you what, the, the recall is almost perfect. So it's amazing how that happens, but that's a memory he said he will have for the rest of his life, which is really, really cool, at least in my opinion. So it's not a game today, just some chitter-chatter about uh, scorekeeping and Stratomatic. Like I said, just wanted to keep it a little different and keep it short and hopefully sweet. So hopefully you all enjoyed uh, seeing that. I apologize for the uh, quality of the video because I'm actually having to hold my cell phone up in front of the TV screen and record that way. I don't have the technology or the know-how to record it straight off the TV to YouTube, so I'm going to have to go the wrong, you know, long way on that. So, but hopefully it came out okay. We'll find out, I guess, when I go back to watch it. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and hopefully you enjoy rolling games, whether it's Stratomatic or some other game. Uh, either way, the important part is that you're enjoying the hobby and that you're rolling the dice and having a good time. And even within Stratomatic, like it says, three games in one, you can either play basic, advanced, or super advanced, uh, or do what I've done in the past on a couple of occasions, played one game three ways. So maybe the first three innings basic, next three innings advanced, and final three innings super advanced, or something to that effect. Uh, but anyway, that's it from here. It's uh, Saturday, March the 24th, I believe it is, 2018. Just kind of a lazy uh, Saturday morning. The weather's not good enough really to do anything outside. The NCAA tournament is in the Elite Eight now, and that's coming on later this evening. So while i got time this afternoon, I have to do a few chores. I will be upstairs rolling the game and uh, getting in the mood for it again. But uh, just want to throw something a little bit different out there. Throw a curveball to use baseball technology or speak and uh, let you listen to what... Uh, somebody within the baseball industry in their uh, stratomatic history of experiences um, had to say about it. So until next time, hope you guys enjoy playing whatever game you choose to play, however you choose to play it. And as always, I will see you down the road.